Getting ready to have some fun in one of the ACC's best rivalries. Griff O'Farrell ready to lead it off. We are underway with a fastball that misses, and it's ball one. Look at this crowd getting into it with two strikes. That's down the line, a base hit for O'Donnell. Rolling all the way out to the corner for Isert, and O'Donnell is in with a double. Rip to right field, base hit. Carson Jones trying to get the ball to home, and it's an RBI single for Teal. So back-to-back -back nights for Teal where he drives in a run on his first hit of the ball. Teal. Swing and a miss. And back to the fastball. So Green picks up the big strikeout. But Whoa. Oh, right off of the helmet for Jones. <laughs> He's just. Jack Hurley sends a ball to deep center field, and it's gone. The Hokies take the lead here in the first inning with the ninth home run of the year from the Hokie center fielder. Well, we highlighted Hurley and talked about the importance of the Hokies getting off to a good start. Obviously, Hurley able to do so there. Plenty of win, but a lot of power for the left-hander as well. The hammer's out in Blacksburg. And yeah, Hurley just able to get extended there. You see O'Donnell giving it a run and set to pick him up, and then a good answer from Virginia Tech. Over the glove and into right center field. Martini trying to stretch it for two, and he's in with a stand-up double. And another one. Bounces into left center field. Demartini getting the wave around third. Throw is cut off. As it bounces in, Demartini dives in. It's 3-1 Tech. A cut and a miss, and the inning is over. But the Hokies take the lead in the yeah. inning. Nicer goes down looking. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Connolly early. Brody Donay. That's ball four. So first walk issued by the lefty today. Yeah. That looks like it might be pre, pre entering the portal, starting to grow it. Yeah. <laughs> we see Green here tonight, who had been the Friday starter earlier in the year. Clay Grady lets the ball bounce in the turf. Another wheel around third, throw to the plate, bounces to the right, and look at that running from Sparber. 4-1 Virginia Tech, and the shortstop has an RBI single. Oh, good job there by O'Donnell. Tried to raise the glove, showing an opportunity to catch it. A little bit of a deke there by the center fielder, but Sparber still gets a good break and aggressive base running by the Hokies. Coach Elvin down there at third base. Down the line and left. That's a fair ball. Jones heading home. He will get there. Hurley dives in with an RBI double. Ball four, bases loaded. A perfect circle. Rolls that one to third. Geloff slings to first in time, and it drives in a run. Two men aboard for the Hokies. Ball four. 2-2, two, two, that's a big swing and a miss, and Early leaves the bases loaded. In the left end, Didowick finds his way on with a base hit. And the stop sign will stay at first with a leadoff single for the Wahoos. Another frozen rope, this time it drops in. Griff O'Farrell is on the second straight single for Virginia. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Another one to left field. Throw in. It's going to keep Didowick at third base. So now the bases are loaded. Three straight singles, and Ethan O'Donnell is two for two. Green deals. Grounder up the middle. Out at second. Throw to first. In time, turns the double play. Didowick does come in to score, though. It is 6-2, but the Hokies able to clear the base paths. Uh, just good baseball all around. Good pitch by Green. Good job by Geloff to get the bat on. An RBI single to last. 
The right field is last time out. That one's got some travel on it. Hurley turns around, and Kyle Teal has just gone yard. Well, an extraordinary season for the Virginia catcher. His sixth home run of the season. I know I'm supposed to keep my cool because I'm new to this, but <laughs> when Kyle Teal hits home runs, I just get really happy, you know? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's just got out of here in a hurry. Again, not a bad pitch from Green. Hats off to Teal. It's just one of those where it's Ethan Anderson will get on base. So certainly a big inning for Virginia. Mm. That's the a ball great story. on the ground there. Clay Grady gets the out. Virginia was the amount of walks. There were four walks as Sparber sends one into the night sky. That drops in. Sparber slides in with a double, and it just perfectly split O'Donnell and Salki out there. And Jones finds it in the right center field. Sparber around third, 7-4 Hokies. It is pretty special for Hokies, and uh, it's, it's really neat to see this crowd come out. It's like easy. <laughs> That bounces away, and Jones is on the corner at third. The infield in. That's a big strikeout for Hodorovich. Clay Grady goes down looking for the second out. He'll get an RBI there. RBI single for Jack Hurley, who's fired up. And now he's a triple away from the cycle. All four. And Doné watches that ball get sent to right field on the pitch out. Around third goes Hurley. He will score. Costly error for the Cavaliers. It's 9-4 Tech. Demartini heads to third. Didn't matter, ball four. I guess it would have mattered because Demartini ends up with a stolen base. No throw from Teal. The center field, O'Donnell on the run, and he makes the catch. Covering a lot of ground there, but it's the third straight three-run inning for Virginia Tech. Guys, when did you start that? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, oh my gosh. Here, Michelle. Back. Did he? He's gone. Come on. Well, Jacob's excited for his teammate, and he should be. His seventh home run of the year on the first pitch he saw of the inning, 10-4 Hokies. Well, and that's going to bring the hammer out here early in the bottom half. Michelle with the celebration, and Axum, yeah, you, you along with the rest of the guys, you enjoyed that one. Take another look. Again, not a bad pitch. From the left-hander, Michelle just able to go down and push opposite field, and that's not necessarily the best time for outdoor activities at Blacksburg. <laughs> there was the hammer with training wheels. <laughs> Grady takes one to the cleat. Jack. <laughs> Jack Hurley off of the mound. Going around third, Carson Jones is in. Have a day, Jack Hurley. First base. High in the sky to center field. And O'Donnell is there. Uh, transparent in the fact that he failed his a few times. is now a base hit. Rolls out to right field. But were you in the same scenario where you I played here at Virginia Tech a long time ago. Oh, my. Whoa. Geloff with a towering shot. If it's fair, it's way gone, and it is fair. Home run, Jake Geloff into the night sky, and all of a sudden, this feels way more interesting. 11 to six. Steven, that was that swing that you said you've seen him have. That ball was just squared up there. And like you said, Bailey, as long as it stays fair, that one there clears the pitching lap down the left field line. When he gets them, he gets them. Tell you, look at this here. 
Yeah, there it was. Same swing we saw earlier. Lost his footing a little bit, but that's enough to send pitching coach Ryan Fecto out. Don't think it'll be a move. It's baseball at the moment, correct? Mm -hmm. So even my, I would say that the rainbow is the best flavor just because it tastes like candy as a double is hitting to the gap by Michelle here. He's going to drive in a run. Garrett Michelle has had two great at-bats back-to-back. And it's 12-6, Virginia Tech. Christian Martin comes in to score. Got him looking. Yeah. Hard hit, bobbled, and caught. What a roller coaster that was. Getting his feet wet in a really tough ACC match. Hard hit on the ground, and Gone is on with a single. But uh, I, I would just say grad student because fifth year wasn't it. I didn't want to tell people I was spending my sixth year in college. Uh, speaking of travel, uh, across the New River Valley is Didowick's had a day back up the middle there. Both nine holes doing a great job. Didowick there, get this thing started in the ninth. We were always on the road. and was a bunt. Kurtner lost it. Martini tried to pick it up off of the shuffle pass unintended. Virginia trying to come all the way back here. A shot out to left field. That's in for a base knock and rolls all the way to the wall. Virginia's going to score at least one run on this. And it is an RBI double for Ethan O'Donnell. Crank to left field. Isert back. Will this stay in the yard? It goes off of the wall. Geloff is on to second. Here comes the runner. He is in. Two run double, Jake Geloff. Ethan Anderson chops the ball over to third. Demartini makes a throw in time. But a run does come in to score. Now two outs on the board. Into center, and Virginia is staying alive here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss, and the Hokies hold on.